Welcome to the It's All Good Mining channel. I'm Brian, and this is hopefully the new and improved version of the system. Uh, what we have today is the uh, cameras that we're going to be talking about here. Um, I've got the Hayer camera that I bought off of AliExpress. You can also buy this piece of junk off of the uh, Amazon. This is the HC210 Amscope camera. And there you go. And then this is the camera of my dreams on a budget. So let's get into this right now. And uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's flip over to just this so that looking at myself is not distracting me. So what's the goal what was i looking for well i was looking for a 4k camera hence why i bought this now when i ordered this back in december this camera which doesn't come with a lens it has a one over 1.8 inch sensor right in there you can see that um this camera was supposed to do be able to do 4k at 30 frames a second over usb now the funny thing about it is that uh, when I do 4K USB with this camera, it uh, flickers and stutters and is terrible. I've gone back and forth with uh, Hayer uh, because they sell on AliExpress and they're, they're, they're giving me all kinds of lines about uh, you need to install this software, you need to install that software. Finally, I took the uh, HDMI output and uh, I plugged that straight into a, to a 4K screen. Uh, which I use uh, normally for my OBS stuff. And wouldn't you know, when you set it in 4K mode, it just blanks out. It flickers, it blanks out, it cuts out. And and they're telling me I've got to install software. Now, they're not telling me to update the firmware on there. What they're telling me is to install all this software on my, on my computer. Uh, and it's absolute junk. So... Uh, if you see this Hayer brand, because I, I know they sell it on Amazon, run. Uh, go the other way. Avoid this product. I bought it, and so I can say what I want to about it as long as, it's, as, long as I'm being fair. Uh, you can reach out to me. I can show you my, my notes uh, of where I've communicated with them. I'll show you the footage that I've done. It's, it's pretty sad. Uh, this is just as a pretty, pretty pitiful junk camera. Okay, so we'll throw that out. Plunk. This is the silly remote that goes with it. Uh, that actually only really does anything for still cameras. So we'll throw that off to the side. This is the first microscope cam. Now I, I labeled it Demo One um, because there we go. That's what it registers at as a USB device. Now it has. A USB-C connection on the top of it. It also has a micro uh, HDMI uh, with an interesting little screw. Right there, you can see it. That holds the connector in place. Now, this is only 1080p. That's 1080p for about 230 bucks plus shipping. Okay. This is I, I bought this along with a FMA... Actually, I bought the FMA 050, um, but this is the FMA 037. And what happened, what you do is this, these two parts screw together. This is known as a C mount. And you just screw these two parts together. And then that slips down in your microscope. Yay. Now, this is okay. You've seen some of my footage before, and the microscope just doesn't look good. So I wanted to do something better. That's why I was looking for the 4K camera that just didn't come to fruition. And then I found this Mikose. Now, this was not uh, before I found the Mikose. There you go. Before I found Mikose or Mikose, I also tried ELP. Um, and uh, there was another one, Serve Pro, SRV Pro. Uh, they looked similar to this, but uh, they did not perform the same. So this is, we'll just look at it here. 
This is a 1 over 1 1.8 inch CMOS sensor. Now, that's the same thing that this is supposed to be. But while the sensors are the same, the performance is anything but. Uh, now, there's, you can get this camera in two different configurations. Uh, this is the 4 millimeter uh, w very wide angle lens. I'm not really using this for anything. Uh, but I, w I wanted to have one of these, so the Makosi camera that I, I bought for the microscope that I'll show you in a minute, uh, it came with this, uh, this lens right here. But what you're looking through is the, uh, is the, is the 6 to 12 millimeter manual focus uh, uh, zoom lens. All right? So let's let me show you. Let me go ahead and unbox. Okay, show you what comes in the package. All right. First of all, they wrap it in a nice little uh, velour type case. Now this is this is roughly after tax and so forth about one hundred and sixty five dollar. Uh, camera, uh, USB 4K camera uh, with as, just about as big of a sensor as you're going to get. I couldn't find anything larger under $200. Now, the, now Makosi does make a 1 over 1.2, so that's almost, it's almost like a 0.8 inch uh, 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 sensor, diagonally measured. So we're, we're, we're getting towards those mirrorless cameras. Uh, with the one inch and larger sensors, but uh, you know you, you're going to pay uh, 500 or more dollars for that. So this is the this is the camera, and this is a common problem. I've had this happen to me before. There we go. These little set screws fall off. They fall out. So you just put them back in. Don't freak out if they fall off. Cool. So that's the what you got is you got the focus. That's what this is. You got your aperture setting, aka the f-stop. And then this last one here is the zoom. Okay, it says wide telly, but this is actually the zoom right here. And you just unscrew that till it comes out, and then you can turn it. And so what I do is um, I actually keep these things pretty loose until I get it where I want. And then I, I, uh, I turn the screw and set it. So like I said, this camera right here is you're looking at the picture you're looking at on the screen is this very camera. All right. Uh, so I'm going to skip <laughs> process of zooming in and showing you, but this is zoomed in all the way right now, and I'm about just a little bit more than two feet above the uh, above the desk with the camera. What I like about this is it does actually have a USB 3 connection. That is actually a USB 3 connection. Now, interestingly enough, if I use, use USB tree to check, it shows a USB 2 uh, uh, connection. So even though it, it has everything in place for USB 3, it just is not connecting uh, up at USB 3 speeds. That's okay. This camera does very well uh, at the 2K um, setting. It does lag a little bit at 4K, but when I run it at 2K, it... Uh, it, you know, the motion is, is good. Uh, it doesn't lag in the picture. Okay, so what am I going to do with this camera here? This is my third camera of this Makose, same model. What am I going to do? Well, this is going to become my bench cam. It's going to go right over there, and it's going to look at an angle. Uh, I don't have that set up because I wanted to show you what, it, uh, show you what the camera looked like. Um, it comes with a very nice 3-meter uh usb cord uh, again that's a usb 3 cord it's very stiff um so but the nice thing about this cord 
is I was able to put a 10 foot extension onto this cord and have no problem getting a 2K video feed for my microscope, which I'll show you in a second. Other than that, the other things that come in this is the uh, actual Mikosi uh, contacts, tells you where to go. The, one of the things that I find very nice and refreshing about Mikosi is that unlike the Hayer people and unlike uh, some of the other ones, their website is actually a secure website. It's, it's updated, it has relevant content, and um, you're going to a secure website. You're not going to an unsecure website, so you don't get any, any warnings. Real simple manual explaining how to use your, your Mikosi camera. Not really complicated at all. But this is, this is it right here. So I'm running, I'm running frame rate of MJPEG, and I'm running the 2560 by 1440, 30 frames per second. I find that there is no lag in that at all. Um, there is a little bit of lag in the in the true 4K, but for what I'm doing with my stream, uh, a, a 2K stream is more than enough. Okay, so that's what is all in the box, and I'm going to use that a little bit later. So I'll set that off to the side. Um, this is a really interesting camera. I want to show you this. So let's tighten these down. The lens unscrews. Now, when the lens unscrews, there's a ring in here. Okay, let's, let's see if I can actually get get it to show. Okay, there you can see the ring. Now I can, if I take a screwdriver with a the right kind of tip. See, there is it's it's a it's a hex tip. It happens to. Be I think a 1.3. I think that's what it is. Yeah, a little bitty hex tip. But if you loosen it, I don't even need my screwdriver. Just it's finger tight. Okay. But if you give it a little bit of a loosening, then you can unscrew this. And what you'll find is there's another ring in here. Now this is an M30.5 ring. I haven't found any lenses that actually have that size to them. But the nice thing about that ring, what I found to be very nice, is if you do swap out to a different lens, for instance, here's an 8 millimeter, uh, you know, fixed 8 millimeter uh, lens that you can, can put on. Okay, that you can put on it. So you can, by having that inner ring, you can actually loosen the little set screws on both sides. And let me do this. So let's just say that I was gonna mount the camera like this, right? So um, there's, there's screw, there, there are mounting holes on both sides. And right now it's set so that all the controls are on, on this side. But let's say that for whatever reason I was gonna mount it and and I needed to have the controls right here. Well, you can just loosen that a little bit, and then everything can spin. <laughs> see, that's the benefit of that inner ring. At least that's how I see it, and it's worked pretty well. So once you get things back to where you want them, you just finger tighten those two units right there. And you're good to go. All right, so how did I mount this? I think I covered this, but just in case I didn't, how did I mount this for my microscope? All right, so you just spin off the lens. Put your, put the, the adapter that you get from Amscope. Now, this is an FA037. I'll show you in a second what an FA 50 looks like and that's the actual one I recommend. Just screw it in like that. Now, one thing to mention. 
And FYI, the Amscope support were, was no help. I told him that I had a, a, a circle around the edge. Uh, I didn't understand at the time. That's called vignetting. Uh, but basically, you could see the corners were dark of the screen. So what you do is you, you take that inside there, and you just spin that lens in. Make it go down deeper. And when you do that, it makes the vignetting go away, and then you just have to set your focus. Now, this is not an autofocus camera. That's something to, to mention. But let me put this all back together so that the right parts are sitting there waiting. Okay. So that's the, this is going to be my new bench cam. Next video, it will be working. This I don't really need anymore, but I'll keep it. Maybe I'll find a use for it later. Maybe I'll sell it on eBay. This is my old wimpy 1080p camera. Get that out of my way. All right, let's go ahead now and wrap this video up. I want to show you just how awesome the microscope camera is. So let me get this in place. All right. There's that, and um, let's see. I'll bring the microscope in place and flip over to the microscope. All right, so let's look at what it, what the camera or the microscope can see with this camera. So here we go. We've got the Makosi uh, 4K camera attached to my my Amscope microscope and I just think that this picture is amazing. Uh, you can see so much detail. This is running at the, the 2K resolution. But you can see all the dirty flux. And it's not real glary. Okay. And here's the cool part. I'll zoom in on this thing. And... Yes, I played with the focus earlier to get it kind of smooth and tight, but look at that. It's wiggly because of the screen or because of the arm, but look at how good the detail is. That to me is just amazing. So that is the that's the same camera. That's the Makosi 4K um, camera, but instead of using the and I can brighten it up a little bit if I need to. That's the Makosi camera, the 4K camera, the same camera uh, that I showed you, but instead of using the the six by twelve or to twelve millimeter zoom, uh, it's connected straight into the microscope. Uh, so this is so. Anyway, I will leave links to this camera down uh, in the description. If you like the camera, if you think this could be useful for you, uh, by all means, uh, I'd appreciate it if you click the link. It is an affiliate link, so the channel gets a little bit uh, for you purchasing the camera. But hey, if you don't want to use the, the link, you don't have to use the link. You can just search it out. Make sure you get the, the UC70, the one the Makosi with a, a 1 over 1.8 inch sensor and not the smaller sensor. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. <laughs> Got to get that out of the way. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you really, in, if you enjoyed this content, uh, be sure to, to give me a like. Uh, smash the like button. Subscribe. Click the notification bell so you'll be notified when new videos come out. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.